Hey, 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 hey. We back. We back. We back. We back. We back. We back again. Hey, we back. We back. We back. We back. We back. We back. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Come on now. We back. We back. We back. We back. We back. We back again. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try some. I've been wanting to do this for like four years and like run a podcast solo. Um, um, I figured what better time to go um, podcast like by myself you know, for the first time in like four years. Yeah, yeah, four years. Um, then right now to talk about like the protests across America, which is spreading to across the world. I've seen Paris um, have their peaceful protest um, coming from the events of uh, um, Floyd being murdered by a police officer, right? George Floyd. Um, I think a lot has to do with at first it being like super peaceful pro- protest. Um, they're protesting about, you know, this killing. Then the peaceful protest being upended by, you know, outside entities um, and in confusion caused by, you know, outside outside entities. Um, I've been seeing videos where there's agents um, dressed up undercover uh Bricks being put out in the hood and for people to, you know, be violent with and cause damage and vandalize businesses. Um, and then you see, like, you know, them Antifa people, people being out there um, in their uniform. They have a uniform that I've been seeing. Like, it's like they all have black. They're dressed in black head to toe and they have the mask and they have shades on to and their hoodies up to um, block their identities from being seen, right? So with that, we like, I'm looking at it like we we as a group got to see through the game. Uh, they're out there. And I'm not putting the blame on black people or any protesters, you know, that are protesting for the right reasons. But it's like when you see them... <laughs> do all of these things and act out and that's not what you agree on you either stop stop them from doing it or film it let these let the people know that um that's that wasn't y'all cause because now you see in the media it goes from hey we need to talk about police brutality to oh they looting right they they're looting that's we're going to focus on the looting part. They're criminals. We're going to fo- focus on criminals. And we know for media and like period, like dominant white society, criminal is the new black. That's why these unarmed people begin shot. Unarmed black people get shot. That's men and women and little kids get shot because they're deemed and they're looked at as criminals. Right? So, that's the association that 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 is seen with blackness, right? In America. Um and I think it goes back to black people we are a constant reminder and better yet, where are the ball and chain to America's legacy. They cannot get away from the foundation on which this country was built, right? Um, all the like trickery, robbery, murder, indoctrinations that this country was founded on. Like we're a constant reminder of that and they can't get rid of us. So in order to maintain control, they got to keep their foot on our necks. No pun intended. 
Oh, what they got to keep a foot on our neck. So, like I was having this conversation with um, my a coworker, right? And he was asking me like how I felt about the protest, things of that nature. What I said was, "Do I?" He asked, "Do I feel like it's, it's going to bring about change?" And I told him. And anybody who knows me, that who ever had conversations with me, you know I'm a big uh, preacher of group economics. And I told him, how often do you see Asian people, unarmed Asians, get shot by the police? How often do you see Indian people get shot by the police? Now, I'm not, this is not a blatant statement, but the reason why I asked him that, it was like, man, you can go to any major city. You can go to Little Indy, India. You can go to Little China. You can go to Little Korea. You know what I'm saying? Little Mexico. And you can spend money in those communities. That's group economics. They bought that shit. Right? And once you got money circulating in your community, you are able to buy political agenda, right? Because really, politicians ain't nothing but mercenaries, really. You know what I'm saying? They taking care of whatever agenda you need if you, if you got the money to turn into political power. Those, those other ethnic groups have their ability to keep the dollar in their community longer than black people. Black people, we get six hours, the money gone outside of the community. The black dollar stay black for six hours. We have no economic power, Right. Actually, I take that back. We have tons of economic power, but we're not able to turn the economic power into true political power. Right? So, you see the Asians, uh, uh, Latino community, um, Indian. You see these, these communities by political backing. You do this agenda, we'll fund X, Y, and Z that you need in order for you to be reelected, we'll bring the votes to you. You need this number of votes. We can we can produce that, right? And they don't have an allegiance to any party. They're just like who who wants to do what we need them to do. And you see this done at every level. So at every level of government. So you see, like for instance, state the city level. Hey, we need this co coordinates to so we can build this building or do whatever and move in our community. You know what I mean? That type of thing. State level. Now we got laws that help us do whatever we need to do. National level. Okay. Now there's an immigrant law that helps funding and banks for you to get business loans and shit. That's all because of the, of the work of the political power shifting because your economic dollar as a group. Right? Black people, we don't do that. Not effectively. And going back to the conversation I have with um, my coworker, Doc, if that's the only thing that can change this, Right? In order for, and that's, <laughs> in order for us to stop getting gunned down in the street, um, redlining, all of that, it has to go with buying the political mercenary in order to get our agendas passed. And we don't do that. Why? Because we are uh, locked into Hey, we're going to go with the Democratic Party. But we don't demand 
specific things from the uh, Democrat Party with uh, the chance of us not participating in a vote or whatever. Why? Because shit, <laughs> shit means too much to us. Like his life or death. So they don't have to pass any agendas. They don't have to. They don't have to give us reparations because we we're asking for them and, and we know that shit. They they broke down a stimulus check. They bust that shit out in like two weeks. You see what I'm saying? But it's been 400 years and y'all can't do that. Y'all can't y'all can't do a fucking reparations. Come on now. So with that being said, like shit, <laughs> in order for us to all that fucking yelling in the streets, yeah, you you might touch somebody. Hey, we need to make a change, but money talks louder than your screaming, screaming and walking in the street. That's the money. The group economics screams louder than that. That's what you going. That's what we're gonna need to get on the same page, even though. It may be hard to impossible with the desegregation of the United States because pr prior to the you know the desegregation, Jim Crow laws made it to where black people had to keep the dollar in their community because they couldn't go over to anywhere else and spend their money. They weren't welcomed, so they spent money where they were welcomed. Now we'll go spend money with Gucci, and no one Gucci don't give a fuck about us. H&M don't give a fuck about us. Target don't give a fuck about us. But we'll go spend money there. Hell, now there's not even black grocery stores in, in a lot of communities. And if they are, you don't go shop with them. You go shop at Walmart. You go shop with Kroger. Pay less. That's the problem. If you want change, you got to be that change in your economics. Shit. In the best way, the first step of group economics is to marry some. Marry. Black, black people need to be getting married. To each other. Right? That's the first step in group, group, group economics. That's a whole nother conversation. Put your money together as a, as a family. Your family spends money within that community. That community spends money back with that community. That should be black law, black law offices within these black communities. There should be black grocery stores. There should be black eye doctors. You name it. We should have all of that in one area. It's hard as hell to do that because there hasn't been uh, incentives, government incentives for that to happen. So we got to go a little harder. And that's something that, you know, you got to be willing to do. And we got to be willing to do as a people is to put our money together and actually pull resources. And if you really want to see change in the policing system. Here in law enforcement, you got to buy your change in this country. It's capitalism. You have to buy your change in this country. So, I don't really have anything positive to come out of it how this conversation with myself but that's really how I feel we got the answer we been had the answer Malcolm had the answer study your history man The revolutionaries in the 60s and set early, early 50s, late 50s, early 60s, they laid it down for us. We just got to pick it up and read the blueprint. That's it. And we be straight. 
take your ego out of it. You ain't got to reinvent the wheel. Just make the engine stronger. With that being said, um, uh, I'll get out of here. I'll get out of your ear. But uh, again, thanks for listening. Um, I just wanted to get this off of my chest. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. Continue to social distance. Um, Just because the media stopped talking about it, the COVID-19, that don't mean it went away. Just because the protest is what's on the front page don't mean shit is sweet out here. Continue to social distance. Uh, I have to go to work tomorrow. I don't want to. But I can't afford to quit. 